Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mac Warriors. this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online and today we're running an oldie but goldie, one of the first builds I ran on this channel ever and I wanna make sure to try and see what we can do with this build with some new tech light fusion engine, that thing is new, but the five large pulse lasers, that is a thing that is tried and tested um, and I decided to go ahead and use the extra tonnage we won by actually putting in two AMSs. So yeah, this is basically a veritable Atlas K that is running large pulse lasers in the torso slots with of course a lot less armor, but that is beside the point. We gain a little bit of maneuverability for that and we'll make sure to basically try and shoot the enemy when they're not expecting it and uh, hopefully that is what we'll try to do right now. This Battlemaster is not a frontline mech, this Battlemaster is meant to open up enemy targets very very quickly, like that hunchback to see over there. Yep, okay, he escapes with his life, that is fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the left side here on the Grim Plexus, there's lots of enemy targets coming in. There is the hunchback again, and there he falls, okay, perfect. Let's see if we can get that Cicada, if he moves in front of the building he's gonna be hurting, but he doesn't wanna do that. Enemy team is bunched up in Gulf 8 and Gulf 7, so we'll just go ahead and hold position right now. I don't really wanna push into them, that would be suicide. Okay, there we go. Cicada, CT very much open, one or two more hits will do it. Can we get him? No, we can't. Okay, well, he escapes, that's fine by me. Just gonna shoot a different target and then get my face out of the Ultra AC fire right now. Enemy Marlock coming up in Gulf 7, that is probably a better and juicier target for me. Also, I need to support our right flank as there is only three max there. That means a little bit, bit of support. So, let's give him some TTB support. And that's a big fat mad cat that really, really doesn't like my large pulse lasers, hopefully. Yep. There we go, one less LB10 and now we go ahead into single fire just on the side torsos. Yeah, you can show me buddy, but um, you're gonna draw the short end of the stick oh, in this one. And speaking about short ends, I just found out that my battle master is too thick to fit through that hole. Okay, well, never mind then, we can reposition because we have 60 kph speed. That is a tiny, tiny light mech that should not be facing me because five large box lasers is brutal against light mechs. Uh, okay, that is a Highlander. I don't want to be tangling with this guy, so let's just go ahead and move a little bit over to the side here and see what we can do from this Gulf 7 central position. Teammates are moving up on the left side as well, so this should be relatively safe, but um, we need to be careful. The match is pretty even right now. My CT is already opened up very much, so there's not much stuff I can do. Yep, took another shot to the arm. That's fine though, it's just a shield arm. And we'll just go ahead and shoot that Roughneck down there. Um, hopefully we can get him distracted a little bit. So get a little bit more shots in. Yep, there we go. Good salvo in. Unfortunately it spread over all his torso, so not that much damage done. But those were two good hits and if I can finally target this guy, I might be able to see where he's weak. Uh, kinda waiting for him to move forward. He doesn't want to however. Yeah, he's just standing behind that hill. He knows what's up. So we'll move forward and we'll go on the Highlander, that was two good hits and minimal return fire, that is what I was looking for. Let's see if we can go back to the well one more time. Hello, oh, there he is our buddy again. Can we get him? Nope, we can't kill him. That's unfortunate, that's fine. I'm just gonna go over on the Orion. Let's see, Ravnik or CT open, he's a one shot, so if he shows himself he's dead. Come on, come on. Could you please show Maybe yourself? Maybe well, never mind then, he is dead, okay. We'll just go on the piranha, but we also need to move right now. Seven kills to nine kills, we're far behind right now. Luckily, the enemy is just ignoring me. Look at that, okay. We've got a night giant up front, we've got the Highlander up front, and we have three teammates to work with. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and shoot the Highlander as much as I can. He is the biggest target out there. The Orion is also very juicy. Okay, Highlander turns his back to me. That basically means I have to take the shot right now. There's just no way around it. But however, he is coming for me now. So, let's do the smart thing. Let's go ahead and seek cover down below. And now we go for CT. Just straight CT. That might be the only chance that we have. Salvo 1, Salvo 2, and we got him. Perfect. I'm getting learned, so the only thing I can do is shield with my arm 
and keep moving. Keep moving towards the Lerm dude. Keep moving. Move into his range. Yep, he's only got Lerms. I am very close to him now and there is not and much that he can do more. even and against my mech that's almost dead. So let's go ahead one and one take out his side torso and then the take out the rest of the mech and then die horribly to the last piranha. But 11 kills against 11. The match is up in the open. Got one ER medium laser and ATMs and ECM against an enemy piranha with ER small lasers. Um, well, that does not bode well. Uh, the Cougar unfortunately does only have his one medium laser and it's very very hard to hit that piranha. If he can actually get into a little bit more range he might have a bit of chance but um, as it looks right now, yeah it looks like the piranha is probably gonna win. It's a close one though. Okay. There we go. Close match, very very close match, but uh, some good mech warring at the end. Especially, I'm especially happy about my very all to turn my shoulder and my arm towards the enemy and keep walking towards him to get below that 120 meter LRM range, so I'm happy with myself. Two killing blows, services, one solo kill, four kill most damage dealt, eight components taken out and 1107 damage done. Pretty solid round, unfortunately we lost in the end, but you know what? It just goes to show that this oldie build is still a goldie build, so if you own a Battlemaster BLR-2C, five large pulse lasers and slap on two AMSs just to really really piss off those dudes with their LRMs, you will have a lot of fun. Just make sure you're not the tip of the spare because that is not what this mech is designed to do. This mech, as I said, is designed to shoot the enemy targets as a target of opportunity and open up components or finish enemies or do both because you can do both you just need to make sure that you actually have enough time to cool down because this mech cannot brood, uh, can't really produce um, sustained fire very well and speaking of sustained fire eh, I was looking at my keyboard right now strange things happening okay Moving forward towards the Delta 4, Delta 5 area right now, the enemy now controls Fader. We're on top here and uh, Crimson Strait, I mean, there's basically always a question, will the enemy push the tunnel or will the enemy just be in Delta 4 waiting out? Um, doesn't seem to be a tunnel push right now, but maybe, just maybe, our guys might to, uh, want to set up for a tunnel push, so I'm going to drop down because I see that they are altering themselves in that area, let's just go ahead and shoot that maul a little bit, yep, he didn't like that. Take a little bit of return fire, but it's fine. And uh, we'll follow with our teammates through the tunnel, yep, that is four assaults in the tunnel, there's only one way, go. that is to push forward. Yep, Charlie is dead, perfect. Pushing forward, now as you can see, I see my teammate pushing for the left side, and he's aiming towards the right, so, of course, you take a position where you can fire crisscross onto any, any targets that move into the left side of the tunnel. Unfortunately, the uh, teammate is overtaking me here, so, yep. Good thing nobody came here at that spot. We'll just go ahead and chase down the enemy. Now, since we don't know where the enemy uh, is in Delta 5 specifically, we need to be very careful. What you don't want to do in a situation like that, as you can see with those two mechs right here, one heavy and one assault, you generally speaking you don't want to push into this blindly and as you could just see on the radar there's actually three targets right around the corner if you push out the side entrance you are dead so we're gonna push through completely and then go ahead and come up behind them at least that is my plan right now that I share with the team to make sure that they don't go out there uh, hopefully they follow that advice we'll just go ahead and go on the ice ferret right here as well as his buddy okay yeah, we need to move forward. This is uh, this is not a good spot to camp in. I can't shoot that far up, so we need to move forward. Let's see what do we have incoming here. Still the ice ferret. There's a storm crow coming in. His side torso is open. Let's see, can we get him? Nope. Well, okay. No, no, he's coming back for more. Perfect. We also got some good damage in on the mad cat B, so that's also good. And I believe that was a battle master. Yep. We open up his side torso, so that's also perfect. Looks pretty good for us right now. However, we are one kill behind right now, so we uh, need to push the advantage. The battle master is almost ready to die. Yeah, he should be dead in one more shot. Let's see, can we get him? Nope, too slow, but that's fine. I just gotta go on the mad cat right now. The Hika is going to duck away at me, but I do have more burst damage on him, so I can go ahead and go straight for the CT. He is cherry red, he is dead, perfect. 
now we need to go ahead and uh, turn our attention on the Warhammer. And as you can see, as I said, uh, we've got good firepower, but we're running very, very hot right now, so I'm just going for a single fire. Unfortunately, still not enough. I still overheated. Luckily, the enemy is engaged against our teammate, so now we go ahead, help shoot through the side torso, turn around now and face the enemies that are pushing us from behind. Seven kills to seven, two roughnecks, and I believe there was a light mech in this mix as well. Airstrike coming down on us, oh dear. Okay, single fire on the powerhouse, we go into override a little bit, uh, take a little bit of internal damage, it's still fine though. Can we convince Delta to die, that's the question. Pop a cool shot right here. Yeah, Delta's almost dead. One more shot should take him out. Something shooting right me from here. behind though. Blood yep, something shooting me from there. What is that? Light mech? What kind of light mech? Oh, what are you? Okay, okay. It's just it's just a piranha right behind me. I don't like that. Okay. So now we're going to play peekaboo, apparently. So I have my back angled towards the enemy, my teammate is fighting against the enemies, but I can't turn. If I turn at this moment, the piranha just jumps me and kills me. So, I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting, trying to goad him into a way where he goes ahead and either pushes or hides. Okay, that's too much damage from the side, I need to go now. Okay, we took down one of the roughnecks and now we turn around, go on the leg of the piranha. Whoop, there we go, we got the leg of the piranha, hopefully our teammate can go ahead and finish, yep, he can. And at this point, it's only one enemy against the two of us and uh, it's an ice ferret. Now, what is the Ice Ferret going to do? Of course, it's gonna run, so I knew he would be running. I was aiming for Kilo, and exactly, well, not Kilo, it's Kappa. He went for Kappa, my spider sense was tingling, I knew it. So, I know his leg is open, so I'm just gonna go for the leg, and this leg should have been popped at this point. I don't know why it's still alive, but that's okay. Come on, shoot me. There we go. Oh, come on. Are you for real? Okay, I wanna get his leg. There we go, I'm happy. His leg's gone. Wanting to override here, he's just... <laughs> he doesn't have any more missiles apparently. Yeah, that's my torso gone, that's okay though. That's okay. You can claim me, I did what I came to do, which is stop him from capping. And the clock is ticking mercilessly. And we shall win this round. There's just no way around it. No capping for you, good sir. <laughs> Deathstrike is almost out of ammo. People are happy that I led. Okay, thank you. And also thank you for that. You but uh, honestly, this match, team was clutch. And that was a really, really good round. Really close one again, but really good. One killing blow, 8 assists, 1 KMDD, 6 kill points taken out, 774 damage done. Our oh, Deathstroke, of course, had a field day. Um, all this damage, of course, also in part due to all the targets I opened up. But that is what team play is all about, so... My hat's off to that gentleman. Light engine, 300, 5 large pulse lasers, 2 AMSs, AMS ammo of course, and double heat sinks combined with endo steel turn this mech into the good old LPL powerhouse. 50 firepower, it doesn't sound like much, but trust me guys, it is quite a lot. Go ahead and try it out and let me know how you like this mech. This has been TTB in the Battlemaster. See you guys soon.